Let us take a moment to gather this morning. Wait for the Lord, be strong, be stout-hearted, and wait for the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome to uh, St. Isidore. My name is Father Erisman. I am pastor here at St. Isidore in Bethany, Illinois. It's a joy to celebrate the Eucharist with you on this fifth, uh, fifth week of Lent on Tuesday. And uh, um, we, we remind ourselves of this great gift of, of gathering together as God's holy people, uh, united in the gift of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, perseverance in obeying your will, that in our days the people dedicated to your service may grow in both merit and number. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. From Mount Hor, the children of Israel set out on the Red Sea Road to bypass the land of Edom. But with their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert, where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people seraph serpent, serpents, which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents away from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole and whoever looks at it after being bitten will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call, answer me speedily. O Lord, hear my prayer, let my cry come to you. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory, when the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. When he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Let this be written for the generation to come, and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth, 
to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away, and you will look for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, He is going to kill himself, is he? Because he said, Where I am going, you cannot come. He said to them, You belong to what is below. I belong to what is above. You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What I told you from the, from the beginning, I have much to say about, your condemna about you in condemnation. But the one who sent me is true, and what I heard from him I tell the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am, and that I do nothing on my own, but I say only what the Father taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke this way, many came to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So today we hear about the seraph serpents. We hear about one of them being brought and, and, and mounted on a pole for them to see. And in looking upon the seraph serpent, all those who are dying would be healed. This points us to what Jesus talks about today in the Gospel. It's a prefigurement of what is to come with the gift of the cross. We are dying in our sins, bitten by the serpent, bitten by the serpent in the garden, bitten by the serpent in our sin. And only looking upon that one who has been mounted on the pole Will we be able to live? Will we be healed? Brothers and sisters, this is the declaration of who Jesus is. He is the, he is the cure for the illness. And no, the illness is not the coronavirus, although this is what our world is focused on, and rightly so. We should be more focused on what sin does. Sin does just this. It brings about suffering. It brings about illness. It brings about death. So may we live rightly in this world. May we see him who is the cure for our true illness, which is our sin. And look upon him and believe. Look upon him and be healed. Look upon him and be saved. Look upon him and have life eternal. Jesus tells them twice today that he uses this very phrase, I am, this declaration that he is God. It's the very name of God. And they ask, who are you? He is the one that we long, that, 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 that they had longed for. He is the one that we should long for, especially as this time of waiting to return to the sacraments, to return to that gift of life eternal in his Eucharistic body. When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will, will, will realize that I am. We have lifted him up on the cross by our sins. So may we look upon him and be healed. Look upon him and be saved. Look upon him and look to life eternal. This is where our king's throne is. This is where mercy itself resides. And instead of being condemned like the Pharisees in this passage in John today, 
may we have life eternal and be like those who heard him speak, who hear him speak today very clearly to follow after him, to come and follow him, to see who he is, to believe in him, to be saved, to be healed, to be strengthened. And may we be like them because he spoke this way, many came to believe in him. And may we do the same and look upon him who is pierced for our offenses. Look upon him who is our salvation. Brothers and sisters, we now turn our hearts and our lives to the Lord to hear and answer our prayers. For Pope Francis and Bishop Thomas John Pibrocki, that they continue to guide us to that gift of salvation in looking upon the cross, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are struggling in their sins, that they might be set free by the gift of the cross, by believing in him who sets them free, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick and suffering, for all those who have known to pray for them, for those dealing with homelessness, addiction, depression, anxiety, and imprisonment, that they feel the hope that Christ can bring. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick with the coronavirus and all those who are treating those with the coronavirus, that they may have the courage to continue to be that healing touch of Christ, and the sick may know that they are not alone in that love that Christ has by being with them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Dan Volson of our parish who uh, has been dealing with some back issues and, and uh, has found out some very good news, but we continue to support him with our prayers and especially as he and his wife look to the gift of their child uh, coming very soon, that all will be kept healthy and safe. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Grace Bresnan, whom we buried yesterday from St. Isidore. She was a Bresnan, a part of the original families of St. Isidore Parish, and we, we commend her soul to the gift of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for the father of Father David Dosick, a friend of mine whose dad died a year ago today that he may be welcomed into his eternal reward. And we thank him for the gift of his son, the priest, who brings so many to Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we turn our hearts and our lives to you and ask you to hear and answer these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, that being moved to compassion, you may both pardon our offenses and direct our, un our, our wavering hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed, and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As an exaltation, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You, therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the grace by which your peace is offered to us. Then we ourselves, had, when we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that, converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of, the, of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when, about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, in a similar way on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, he left us this pledge of his love. We offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very spirit who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas Shutt, our Bishop, and all the bishops, and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our, with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
our communion antiphon. When I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all to myself, says the Lord. Our prayer for spiritual communion, repeat after me. My Jesus, my Jesus, I believe that you, I believe that you are present, are present in the most holy sacrament. In the most holy sacrament. I love you. I love you. Above all things. Above all things. And I desire. And I desire. To receive you. To receive you. Into my soul. Into my soul. Since I cannot. Since I cannot. At this moment. At this moment. Receive you sacramentally. Receive you sacramentally. Come at least. Come at least. Spiritually into my heart. Spiritually into my heart. I embrace you. I embrace you. As if you were already there. As if you were already there. And unite myself. And unite myself. Holy to you. Holy to you. Never permit me. Never permit me. To be separated. To be separated. From you. From you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that ever seeking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach these heavenly gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. O God, who chose to show mercy, not anger, to those who open you, grant that your faithful may weep as they should for the evil they have done, and so merit the grace of your consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the, the Archangel, Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits, who wander about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. Just so you uh, are, are aware, we um, buried Grace President, so please keep her and her family in your prayers yesterday. Grace was 87 years old and, and was, was uh, part of the original family of our parish. Uh, please uh, continue to pray for uh, all those nurses and healthcare workers and first responders and all those who work in the hospital and any capacity that they might continue to uh, have the courage to do the work that they do and be kept safe and protected as they do that work. So why don't we say a, uh, a memorare for those who are in the healthcare field. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother, the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Your homework today, uh, a lot of my St. T students like to say this phrase, hey guy, which I have no idea where it came from. I hope it's something appropriate, I don't know. But, uh, but it is uh, the feast day of St. Guy. So uh, go look up St. Guy today uh, and learn about his story. God bless you all and know of my prayers for you.